John Davidson here with Springworks Equipment Group. Let's get ready for another episode of Fix It Friday. In this episode of Fix It Friday, we're going to unpack the Fusion PC gun by Graco. Fusion PC is the new gun that has a replaceable cartridge. Okay, once you get your box and you open it, you're going to find a bag of uh, spare parts. There's going to be uh, the mixing chamber in here and then three cartridges. Just real quick at the cartridge, look at the cartridge. Pretty neat. You'll see this. There's some special features about the cartridge that we'll discuss as we go through this on how to line everything up properly. It's got a port for the A and the B side in the air, and that just has to go in the in the in the chamber so so. And uh, it's got some O-rings on it. These are not rebuildable. These are replaceable. So once the once they go bad, you put in a new one, and uh, just quick change out. So there's not a rebuilding process when it comes to the internal parts like there is in, in other guns. You'll notice on the side of the box that there's a QR code. graco has been doing this. This QR code will take you right to the Fusion PC page on the Graco website. And on that website, you're going to find some informative videos, the manual, uh, simple breakdown, uh, some very helpful information. Next, you're going to take out the gun and unpack it. See the safety card on there, it comes on all Graco products, just talks about the hazards of the, of the product itself. Good to throw those in the rig, read through them. And then uh, like, like all the uh, uh, Fusion guns, the hose block comes on it. Now this hose block is the same hose block as used on the Fusion AP gun. Um, so they're interchangeable. If you have a Fusion AP, um, you know, you can, you can use the existing block and you'll have a, you'll have a spare. Um, along with that, they do have a retrofit kit that you can get. So if you already have the, the AP gun handle, you only need the front part, you want to switch over to the PC as, a, as, a, as an upgrade, you can do that. It's a kit, it comes with a couple cartridges in it and the mixing chamber and this front end that you need to. It does not come with the, with the block or the handle. So it's just a simple upgrade. You'll notice that it has the blue locking ring for the air motor. Um, that's what distinguishes that PC at first blush. Okay, next we're gonna take a look at what else is in the box. Uh, you'll have your uh, reuse and replacement card. This is a laminated uh, card that you can hang up in the rig. It's got English on one side, Spanish on the other. It gives you just some quick uh, troubleshooting guide to go through as to when to service the, uh, the cartridge or replace. Have your deck certification, declaration of uh, conformity, in case you're working with an import. Of course, a printed manual has everything you need in there about the gun. And like the Fusion guns, it also has your toolkit with all your accessories for uh, tools for uh, repairing the gun. So, quick unpacking you have your airline. You have a tube of Graco's Fusion Grease. And then, of course, a grease gun. This does have a grease gun option, just like the Fusion AP does. And then uh, a cartridge of uh, grease for the, for the grease gun. And then the, the few tools that you need to, to deal with the gun. There's some special things that are specific for, for the, for the uh, Fusion PC gun in here that you're gonna you know, wanna keep. Uh, but yeah, typical gun wrench, um, flush pot, flush pot's really handy. We'll go over the flush pot a little bit more uh, later in the video, but uh, you got a flush pot, pot block that you can uh, adapt to a, to a canister to clean out the gun. Uh, pin vise, uh, some valves and some air fittings uh, to hook up. They got several configurations in here depending on how you wanna hook up the air on the PC gun and uh, Graco screwdriver and that's the, that completes the tools.
Okay, so just moving along with the unpacking of the products, you'll have three cartridges that come in the kit, blue cartridges. Along with that, there's going to be some more specific tools. The gun does not come with the cartridge in the mixing chamber in, in assembled already. So what you're going to need to do is do the first assembly for that. Um, the air cap, call it the divider tool. This is a tool that's used when, in the process of uh, cleaning the uh, cartridge. And then the grease tool, which is a, a, a tool that gets adapted to the grease gun to flush out the cartridge. Um, that's done in the service side of it. Uh, so you'll notice right off that the mixing chambers are a little bit different from the PC or uh, from the AP Fusion. Um, a little bit different design. They got some grooves in it. These grooves are really important to be to be uh, assembled properly um, as, as these grooves align up with the cartridge uh, when you go to assemble it. Um, again, drill bits for your mixing chamber. You're going to have one drill bit for the nozzle and then one drill drill bit for the for the side ports. What you'll want to do is take the air cap off. You apply your grease this way, or again, you could you could pump the grease through through here and pre-grease these parts. You take your mixing chamber, and it's just like the AP in that it, it key, keys in there that way. You'll look inside the uh, inside the PC cartridge. You'll notice uh, you have your three ports, an A and a B port, and the air port here on top. That aligns with the, with the hole on the top. And then there's a keyway in the bottom of the, of the cartridge that's going to line up with the groove on the mixing chamber. Put that on there and press it on. It goes on. It is that simple. It is that easy. Uh, and you got your cap. Of course, your air cap as well. So you get that together, snug everything up good, and, and that's how you assemble the PC gun. Okay, so we're gonna review real quick um, the, the disassembly procedure for uh, replacing the cartridge and doing just your standard maintenance on the, on the liquid end of the gun. Uh, we definitely recommend using the flush pots. Um, again, your block comes in, in the box with the gun, so you could buy a standard flush pot and hook it up to your block and use that. Now, if you're using a, in a flush pot and you're using a gun day in and day out, um, as long as the cartridge is performing well, uh, just leave it on your flush pot overnight and take it back off and put it on your hose the next day, and that should just work just fine for you. You won't need to go down to, to the greasing procedure that, that is shown in the video. Um, so you can just you can leave it the way it is. But uh, let's just say we, we're taking it beyond that point and we're going ahead and we're going to extract the cartridge off of here or we're going to clean our mixing chamber because that's going to need to be done periodically and at that point you know you would want to flush the gun out and then go ahead and disassemble it. You have screens that need to be serviced, uh, the mixing chamber itself is going to need to be serviced so you're going to need to clean that periodically. The cartridge may still be good but you do need to do some simple greasing and maintenance to keep everything lubricated properly to get maximum uh, use out of the cartridge. So flush pots recommended. Now we're gonna move on to just quick disassembly. Um, just like the Fusion gun, again, these are interchangeable. This would be your screen housings, um, and they are the same. Just screen, O-ring, uh, ball check, and the other O-ring in there. Um, just clean those with standard gun cleaner, what have you. And those can go you know, back into the gun. But we're going to go ahead and extract it. Now you'll notice on this gun, you have these, this uh, muffler, which is standard on a, on a fusion handle. But you have this other screw. This is the extraction tool. I would recommend um, either putting it on here really tight or putting it in your gun box so it doesn't fall out uh, you know, with the you know, while you're spraying, um, because you're going to need that in order to, to extract the uh, cartridge. Uh, remove the air cap, and you're going to take the front cap off. Now, typically you should be able to pull this off by hand, but after use, you know, things are going to get harder to, to, to extract off of there. Um, Graco recommends using the extraction tool, pulling it off by hand, or 
in the extreme case where things are really bound up, um, say you had a crossover instance or something like that, or you just went too far with it, you can get a wide flat screwdriver on each side here and use that to pry up on. But you know that should be last resort. Um, pulling off by hand, should be able to pop off. Then you can gain access to your mixing chamber. Um, again, slipping it back on there should be easy. If it's if it's bound up good, you can get on here with the extraction tool. And as you screw it in, you will see that it starts to pull the cartridge off. And breaks loose. Again, replace it back on the bottom. Just make sure you do it snug. Um, that way it doesn't have a tendency to back off. Finish pulling that out. Then you can gain access to the mixing chamber and uh, clean the mixing chamber up or, or put, a, put a fresh mixing chamber in, either a new one or a cleaned one, or service the one you have. You know, it's important to keep these sides smooth and polished. Of course, the nozzle and the, and the port's clear. Put that back on there. That's going to give you an opportunity to uh, inspect. Again, you can put the grooves down, but that's going to give you a chance to inspect these ports just to make sure there's no heavy buildup in this. These are seal sealed really well, and as long as you're running good liquid through there, shouldn't have any contamination. But as you know, if you expose this to air without greasing it, you're going to get some contaminations in there. Uh, they do they do sell uh, O-ring kits to replace the few O-rings that are on the cartridge in the event that you were to tear a rip one, but this will give you a chance to inspect those, make sure you're not getting any leaks. Now, this divider tool is a tool that's used so that you can just use the grease gun and flush these sides out. So what you would do to keep the side uh, seals separated and not get cross-contamination is put your put your uh, divider tool in there. Once you have that divider tool in there, Graco sells the grease tool, which hooks up to your grease gun that goes over each of the side ports. Now, you squeeze this, grease is going to flow through, and you're going to keep it from getting bound up. Again, put it on there, pump the grease through, and that'll flush all that stuff out. Once you've uh, greased everything properly, make sure everything's lined up good, and simply put it, snap it back in place. Go ahead and put your front cap and your air cap back on, and this gun should be good to go again. So, if you're using the flush pot, we just recommend that you just leave it on the flush pot. If everything's spraying well, you shouldn't need to maintenance it. Um, but every couple days, I would go ahead and go ahead and flush the gun out, disassemble it, service the mixing chamber, and if the cartridge is still good, go ahead and put the cartridge back on. Now, Graco's going to recommend five to nine sets with closed cell. Open cell, you're probably going to get a, a, quite a few more sets through, through a cartridge. Whether you use the flush pot or not, uh, there is a procedure that you don't have to use the flush pot, but we highly recommend using the flush pot. It's going to get all of the contaminants out of the gun before you before you go to clean it and break it down. Again, you don't have to, but it is recommended. And that's a cleaned out gun, ready to either disassemble or you're just going to leave it on the gun itself and store it overnight. So that's this episode of the PC Fusion Gun. Thanks for watching Fix It Friday. Please like, subscribe.